<clears throat> the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He hath anointed me. The Spirit's there because. Uh, you said, we, we already said this. I know that. I didn't forget. I know. I'm emphasizing it again. In Galatians 4, 6, it tells you, and because you are sons, he, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying out of a Father, right? So becoming a son is first, and then the Spirit comes upon, right? Now, when you become a son, that's when you get born again, right? And at that point, there is a spirit change, okay? That's when your spirit is made new. Now, after your spirit is made new, then the Spirit comes upon, Right? So initially what happens, and I know this is different from what you've heard before, this is the Bible, right? Can't get around it. What happens at the new birth is that your spirit is made like Christ and he lives, comes to live in you and you are recreated into his image, right? Maybe baby form. Now, let me emphasize, if we say, well, you are complete in him. Well, when a baby is born, <clears throat> the first thing you do is what? Count all the parts, Right? Fingers, toes, nose, ears, everything's good. Everything's there. So, and then you can go, the baby is complete. All right? Is the baby full grown? No. But he is complete. Right? So you can be complete and not mature. Right? Yes, sir? Right. Yep. It's, it's more of an example of the, what took place. In reality, he's here, you're here, he's there, you're there. So in reality, it's both, right? So I, the, the main thing I, I was trying to get across is that <clears throat> he comes in to live through you. And you're still there, and that's where you submit to him to go, yeah, we're going to do it your way. Yeah, we're going to do, you know, what would he do if he were here? Well, he is here. Well, wouldn't, he, wouldn't his spirit still do the same thing he did when he was here the first time, yeah. Well, then he would lay hands on the sick. But then we do that. And when, when I lay my hands, his hands go on. Right? So, <clears throat> it is an example. I wouldn't want... I'm not saying... Because we do talk about it's no longer I that live, but Christ who lives in me. And, and what that literally means is you died with him. You were buried, resurrected, all that with him. But essentially, what you're saying is I am relinquishing all rights. And he is now living his life through me. So, <clears throat> you're still there. You're still in existence, but you, you don't have the preeminence anymore. And he is living his life through you. Okay? Now, 